Greeting from the Meandering Maker Workshop. I wanted to catch up on a couple things, uh, some things that are going to be coming up this year. And uh, but first and foremost, I wanted to catch you up on this monster here, the newly redesigned big three-day pack, whose name will be changing as soon as I can come up with a name that's better than the new big three-day pack. Um, I've done some videos and some posts about this, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, but uh, the main the main uh, Features on this are is that it's a it's a 45 liters main compartment with all of the pouches combined and everything. It gets to be about 60 liters, and that's even before it's expanded. So it's a monster of a pack, 24 inches tall, 8 inches deep, 14 inches wide. Excuse me. It is essentially the same general design as the current three-day pack. One of the key differences, though, is that the lid now buckles at the top as opposed to down below. When I first built this prototype, I used a long, uh, long lid, just like on the current three-day pack, and found because of the, the much larger front pouches, I couldn't get the buckles buckled. It was just, it was too much, plus the flap was just giant and too heavy. So I've shortened it, so it works very much like the, uh, the day pack and river ruck, and I'm much happier with that. Um, so that's the biggest change, but otherwise, um, it's largely the same design, just bigger. Um, one key, New feature, new on, this is the first time ever on the Andrew Maker pack, there's actually an option for a waist belt. So every one of these packs, every one of these new packs will come with a five, by, five inch by seven inch sleeve to accept a waist belt. Um, I've just been using this flimsy old Frost River waist belt that I had with an Isle Royale I have here in the shop. Um, you can use any waist belt you want that would fit in there. I will be offering one. I haven't designed it yet, so that'll be coming, but um, but I will be making one. I'll be making one that's using the same leather and, um, and nice padding as the shoulder pads that I use, so if you know how comfortable those are. so um, But you don't have to buy one from me. The sleeve will be on here no matter what, you can use your own. Um, a quick update on shoulder pads for this and all packs going forward actually this year. I'm moving to from buckskin to a chrome tan leather that I'm getting from a tannery called Richard Hoffman. It's essentially a garment leather. It's thicker and more durable than buckskin. It comes in much larger sizes. It's much more con uh, consistent, doesn't have bullet holes and all that shit in it. Um, and it goes really nice with the leather choices that I have, so it's not that bright gold that everybody seems to dislike, or most people do. Um, so that's going to be the change. This is the this this um, color is called um, I think golden tan, and this is what I'm going to use on both with the chocolate and the uh, rich brown. It looks nice with both, so that's going to be the thing. So no more options there, um, no canvas or any of that. This is what I'm going with, but I think you're really going to like it. It's beautiful leather, really consistent, and very thick and, um, and and tough. So don't have to worry about it messing with you like maybe uh, some people are worried about buckskin. So that's a big um, change there too. But otherwise, it's just a much larger pack made for um, longer journeys, kitchen sink type of excursions, the kind that I like the most. Um, so, okay, so when is this gonna be available? So today is Tuesday, February 4th. This Sunday, February 9th at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time, I will open up the books for pre-orders for this. So here's how this is going to work. I will take, I'm going to, I'm going to open up 20 slots and those slots will become available on my website starting at 7 p.m. Sunday, February 9th, this Sunday, and I will leave the books open until either the 20 slots are filled or until 7 p.m. Wednesday night, the 11th. So if only 15 slots get filled up and it's Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Time, then I'm shutting it down. Um, but if they all get filled up on Sunday night in the first 30 minutes, then, then they're full. So either 20 slots or Wednesday night, whichever comes first. And that'll allow me to kind of control the madness. Um, so from there, the bill on these will start on the 17th of February. That's so that we have time to order materials and get our ducks in a row so that we can start building um, that following week. So the clock starts ticking on the 17th. The lead time for these will be eight weeks. If we can go faster, of course we will go faster. But my pledge to you is that your pack, if you order one of these, will ship the week of April 13th. If it's sooner, great. I will not be building anything else during those eight weeks. I'm focused entirely on these. So um, if there's 
Um, if I get ahead of time and there's some other things I can work on, great, but my plan is just to focus, stay focused on these to meet that deadline and get these out the door. Um, the one exception is possible pouches will continue to be rotated on the site like we try to do now. We're gonna to try to do more of that. Mrs. Meandering Maker makes those for us, so that doesn't take my time, and she's a master at that. So she'll be working on those while I'm working on some of the other stuff. So we hope to keep those going. Um, so after these are shipped, what I'm gonna the plan for this year is to be doing releases of you know one, maybe two products in batches one at a time. So once these are shipped, then for example, we'll do maybe a batch of saw bags and we'll do the same thing. We'll do a number, we'll do a number, a, a finite number of them, take orders, and then we'll build those, we'll ship them, and then we'll open up another product. Liam Hoffman at Hoffman Blacksmithing did something similar like that, similar to that at the end of last year. I thought it was very cool. Thank you, Liam, for that idea. Um, hope it's not trademarked. Um, and that'll help control production, it'll help control quality, give you guys some predictability as to when things are happening and keep me from dropping dead um, from over overwork. Um, the goal still is to try to get things into inventory if we can, so if we can get ahead of the pre-orders and instead start building stuff and listing it on the site, that's still the goal. But we're rolling into 2020 and I really wanna start getting gear out to you guys. Um, I'm feeling really good about the production process, so I don't wanna wait up, I don't wanna wait any longer. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, what's gonna roll out when, I can't tell you yet, but I can tell you there's a couple of new things coming to um, the lineup this year. So uh, the first one will be a roll top pack. I'm super excited about that. I did a, a I did sort of an R&D with some tweet here uh, late last year and I really liked that. So a roll top pack is coming. And then um, I'm gonna finalize the design on the second generation haversack that you might have seen. It's got two straps, it's bigger. Um, so that one will be rolling out this year at some point. And then finally, I'm gonna be rolling out a true canoe portage um, canoe pack. So just a big 65, 70 liter, no pouches on the outside, just big, large container, tump line, waist belt, just meant for just beast moding through, you know, traditional canoe type trips. Um, so that will be coming out. I'm really excited about that. That ultimately will become the really big pack. Um, this guy essentially is replacing the Algonquin. So the Algonquin is officially retired. Um, real quick, so I've had some questions about is the first generation three-day pack going away forever? Will this completely replace it? And the question is, I don't know. My original plan was yes, so that the lineup would be the day pack and the river ruck for your short type trips. You've got this 55, 50 liter beast for your longer trips, and then this new canoe pack for the really big long trips, and then the roll top pack kind of somewhere in between. Um, but I really, really like the three-day pack, the current generation. I know you guys too. I love the design of it. I've got one hanging here in the shop ready to go out to a customer and I keep looking at it and I do really like it. So I'm trying not to get, you know, too carried away with myself in terms of what I'm offering this year, but it is entirely possible that the first generation of three-day pack is not gone forever. Um, I'm gonna kind of put it on the back burner, but it is um, almost probably gonna bring it back at some point, at least in limited runs. So uh, if you had a question about that. Um, so there you go. Um, I did not mention the canteen carrier because the canteen carrier is much lower on my list. I know that some people really liked it, but um, um, I never really quite nailed the, the production on that. So it's lower on my list. I'm sorry if you're waiting for one. Um, I still may get back to it, but I'm just not sure when. So that one's kind of far back burner. Um, but other than that, I'm really stoked about this. So this is the first priority. I'm gonna be building one more prototype this week. And then this Sunday, we'll start taking pre-orders and we'll get these to you guys. So if you have any questions, DM me, hit me up in the comments, of course, on whatever vehicle you're watching this. Um, and uh, thank you all for all the support, all the ideas. And uh, I know you're gonna love this one and it's gonna be a great year. I'm really, really excited about everything we've got going on. So uh, thanks as always, I'll catch you soon.